Hello and welcome to Venerix Add-On Special, Episode 1. Today we will be discussing X-Pearl. To configure X-Pearl, type in slash X-Pearl. Here we have our X-Pearl options made by Zek. And X-Pearl can be used to do several different things, but it's mostly for your um, unit frames. To uh, move a unit frame, you simply click on it, hold and drag anywhere you want it on the screen. Here we have my player frame, pet frame, pet target, over here you have your groups, your raid, and your party frame. If you want, one way you can set up your other frames, like your target frame, select the target, and you can move that. Or if I want to set a focus, there's my focus. Um, if I want to see, let's see, there's my target, my target's target. I want to set myself as my focus, my focus, my focus targets. Um, up here we have different tabs for each one. We have your global tab, which can, you can do your background textures for the bars. You can do. Um, highlighting of buffs you can set on whether you want it to flash or when you have aggro or shields on you can set buff countdowns buff cooldowns you can show different tool tips and set the options for those and that's your global next we have our player frame you can set 3d option on or, off or on Turn off portraits if you want. Extended portraits is going to add just a little bit more space. Hit, indi hit indicators. You can add a cast bar, player level, XP bars, different reputation, PvP flags, whether you want the values or just the percentages there. Over here, you can set the player buffs, whether you want them above or below make them flash when they're expiring. If you want to change the scale, you can move this slider right here, left or right, or change the size of it. And then you got your target frame and your focus frames. You also have your pet bar. Same stuff pretty much as the uh, players. Your target tab. You can set all your same options for your targets, their class, their mob type. You can put on whether you want elite text or an elite graphic, percentages and values, if you want them to display buffs or not. You can also toggle on your target's target here if you don't want that on. You, you can do you the same with the your server. focus. You have your focus target's target. All the different options for your focus right here. Again, different size right here. Your party frame. This is if you want to show your party when you're in a raid, you'll check this. I do not like having my party showed in a raid, so I have that check, check, checked off. How many buffs you want displayed, whether you want to show your party pets or not. And we have our raid tab. Our raid tab we can set, not show, show, we can show the pets, we can show titles, we can show mana if you want, or just health, different buffs if you want, I generally have most of that off except for debuffs, and then if you're going to be organizing your raid groups by the actual group, you'll want to turn off raid groups 9 and 10 because they're not supported, however if you're so sorting by class, then you want 9 and 10 on because that will give you your paladin and death knight group. So I like sorting mine by group at the moment. So let's go ahead and turn that off. You can also set if you want it alphabetically. David Flash Volt has connected. Actually, let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do this one. I'll show you what that looks like. I'll join a raid here in a minute. Your all tab configures pretty much base options for everything. 
for all these tabs over here, your alt tabs will do something for them. Hunt down for portraits for everything, 3D portraits for everything, levels, PvP fights, all of that. This is where you set your colors, if you want to change the border or the background or different gradients. I'll turn gradients off so it makes it nice clear black background. Turn it on, you can do horizontal or vertical. Use your class colors if you want those on there. Um, let's see. Helper for tank targets enabled will set aura and your main tank targets to a nice little frame that'll show up down here. Unfortunately, we don't have an actual raid going, so I won't be able to show you that today. It's also where you can enable aggro warnings. Monitor we're not going to worry about, admin we're not going to worry about. So that's how we can set up your uh, your X Coil. Once you've finished, you want to go ahead and select a name, either type a new name or an existing layout, and click Save. This will let us load this layout into any other um, characters we may use. Now let's go ahead and show you what it looks like. We're going to unset our focus. And we're going to hop into an AV real quick. Hopefully. Oh, well, we'll be back in about a minute. Alright, and we're back. And we're going to show you what these look like as an array. Now, right now, I have these x Pearl set to show by class. As you can see here, we have all our paladins our druids, our hunters, our mages, our shamans, etc. and so on. So if you want to go ahead and change that back to the way I had it before, go to x -Pearl. I can move these right now if I wanted to. So I added the priest there when he joined. It's pretty nifty. Go to raid. If I want to turn off start by class, now if I do this, I want to remember to turn off groups 9 and 10 because they are not supported. You can do them alphabetically if you want, or by their actual arrangement. We'll go ahead and do them alphabetically. And once we do that, we want to make sure they save. And there we go. We'll go to exit. And this is what my x normally looks like. Me, target, my raid frames, etc. and so on pretty nifty so I'm gonna do this AV real quick and then we'll make another video sound good sounds good